Today I'm going to walk you through my colour grading process for this music video I shot for Courtney Manston using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So we probably all have our own preferred way of working with footage, or perhaps you're new to editing and you don't know where to start, or how to advance up from shooting normal straight at the camera clips to shooting and filming in log. So stick around to see how I do it and transform your footage to something you'll be happy to put on your show reel. Premiere Pro is great for doing that quick correction and grade, but with music videos I tend to hop over to DaVinci to give me those extra touches of magic to transform my flat ungraded S-Log3 clips, so let's get into it. First up, I'm going to take my ungraded music video edited timeline in Premiere Pro and export that out as a ProRes file. I'm doing this because the free version of DaVinci doesn't let you import 422XAVCI codec. If you have the paid version of DaVinci, you can skip this step and export the XML file for this project instead. When we've exported our ungraded footage from Premiere Pro, open a new project in DaVinci and right click that footage in the media tab and select Scene Cut Detection. This will open up a new window and from here click on the Auto Scene Detect button at the bottom left here. DaVinci will then automatically work out all the different scenes in your footage. When that's done, select Add Cuts to Media Pool and then close the window down. Next, select all your cuts, right click and hit Create New Timeline using selected clips. Name your timeline and click Create. After that, head over to the Color tab for the next step. So now we've got everything in our timeline, the next thing we want to do is tell DaVinci what color space we want to work with. And if you look down here, the color management at the moment is set to DaVinci YRGB and the timeline color space is ASIS CCT and the output color space is the same as the timeline. Okay, so now we want to set up another two nodes, Control S, one, two, and then we spread these out a little bit. And on the first node, we're going to drop an ASIS transform and the input transform is going to be Sony S-Log3. S Gamut Cine and then the output transform will be ASUS CCT. Now the reason we did that is because our project timeline is ASUS CTT as well. Okay and then the next thing we've got to go to our last node here do exactly the same drop in the ASUS transform but this time we are going to go to ASUS CCT again And then we want to tell it that the output needs to be Rec 709, like so. And there we go, we are ready for the next step. So now that we've sorted out the colour space, we're going to move on to a very basic grade. Not a lot needs to be done to this because it's already in a good place. I just want to draw a little bit more attention to Courtney in this particular shot here. And we're going to do this by adding a little bit of a mask here. alter the mask to the shape here like so and then we're just going to invert this mask shape like so by hitting this little button here and what I want to do is just bring down everything else as you can see it's created a little bit of a spotlight here so what we're going to do is feather it out a little bit like so Okay, I think we're going to feather this out a little bit more before, after. Next up we're going to go for one of the close-up of the face. Okay, exactly the same as we did with the last shot. We're going to add in two nodes, drag and drop in the Aces Transform and set our colour signs to exactly the same as the other ones. Next up I'm going to right click, add a parallel node and with the color dropper here I'm just going to select a portion of the skin here and to see what we've selected just hit this magic wand here and we're going to just make sure that we can isolate the skin tones a little bit better now I don't want to select this so what I'm going to do is go over to the mask tool make sure I've got the circle selected and select just around the face area, avoiding that part in the corner. 
and next I'm going to go over to my tracker and click on this and it's going to track the headshot there it's very fast as well so that's great so now when I scrub through you see it's tracked to the face which is good now let's tidy this up a little bit let's move this go to the side a second and we're going to turn the blur radius quite generously up and I'm going to denoise it to around about 13 so it blends in a little bit better say about there which is great okay so now that is selected we are now going to go over to the mid detail area here and bring it down to around 40 37 to 42 is a sweet spot maybe I'll go a little bit more higher I don't want to overdo it so I'm gonna bring it back a little bit and there we go so that is just cleaned up and evened out the skin a little bit and that's looking really nice next I'm going to add another node here and then I want to go over to the blur setting here and I'm just going to add a little bit more sharpening to the face bring it down to about 46 just to bring in a little bit more of the detail back into the face now all the shoot needed was a real basic color correction and grade but as you can see you can really isolate particular parts very easily in DaVinci Resolve and once you're happy with your color correction grade you can copy and paste your node tree over to the same camera angles really fast just by selecting the timeline thumbnail here hitting Control C and then selecting the thumbnail you want to copy your grade to and then hitting Control V just like so it's that simple and once all your grading is done you can export an XML project back into Premiere where I like to add After Effects VFX and graphics to my final video and to do this I just go over to Deliver scroll over to Premiere XML and I tend to have it QuickTime uncompressed RGB 10 bit add your file name choose your location add to render queue and you're done to import your XML file back into Premiere Pro just head up to file import find the XML file you saved open it and there you go double click the timeline and there is your color graded timeline ready to roll so let's take a look from where we started with the ungraded footage to what we have now not a bad effort for 20 minutes or so of work. We have a cool looking graded music video. That's it from me team, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.